Good morning, beautiful garden friends. It is so early today in the morning, and as you can see, my coffee is making some steam, and so are my words. But seriously, it's so beautiful. And my chickens are out, and I'm in the garden, and it's just so magical. Out in the bright morning. I'm getting ready for school, but before I do that, I want to give you guys another garden tour. I want to stay regular. This is week 22. This bed is put away for the winter time and it is um, ready to be planted in springtime. I just dug up some holes, put my old tomatoes in there just because I don't have a huge compost pile. Some people warned me against it. I'm thinking it's because of tomatoes ability to grow like crazy. Well, I put a bunch of new soil on top of it and then I mulched it with some fine pine shavings and I have not seen any sprouts of anything. So I think that that made the trick and hopefully over winter it will break down and in early months of spring, it will break down even more and be ready for planting. Now onto my pepper bed over here. It is as ever abundant. I have harvested all of the red peppers, just an attempt to save them from rotting. I am kind of letting these guys be until it is frost time. Right now, I don't really know how to preserve them. I want to preserve them, not pickling, not roasting them. I just want them to stay as fresh as possible. Um, so I'm looking into those options. If those are not possible, I'll probably be start pickling them or canning them. Um, but right now, I'm just leaving them be and we come out here, harvest a handful, eat them, and uh, that's how it goes. Here in this middle bed, I have a lot going on. I have peas, I have zucchini, I have peppers, I have basil, I have zinnias, I have radishes. It is so cool to see how much I can fit in a 4x4 four four bed. Over here on this side of the trellis, I planted all kinds of peas. I don't remember the variety right now, but they are doing amazing. They're doing great harvesting hands full at a time. Then I planted some radishes right along this line here. And they're doing pretty good. I believe these are daikon radishes. And then here I planted some zucchini. And this is my experimental zucchini. And as you can see, I'm getting some male flowers. So we'll see if we get an actual zucchini. And of course, more peppers. I mean, look how beautiful that is. That contrast with yellow and purple, and this is loaded. And I have some purple jalapenos here. And of course, the beautiful, beautiful, amazing smelling basil and some dying zinnias. These need to be ripped out. My other side of the trellis is also doing really great. I have some more peas that are growing on this side and guys look I am amazed because I grew cucumelons here you remember that right well if you fell and look cucumelons are starting to grow again and it's freezing cold outside not yet freezing but it is really cold outside and here we got cucumelons growing here on the side I have some more radishes that I planted we'll see how they do and more radishes over here this is a random eggplant that I did not rip out. More peppers and basil. So this bed is also very busy, but not as busy as the other side of that trellis bed. This was my cherry tomato bed. 
And again, I put it away just like I did that last one with the big tomato bed. I buried the tomatoes underneath the soil, put a whole bunch of new soil on top, and then mulch it very heavily with fine pine shavings. And hopefully I can plant some garlic in here because this is my plan for this bed. Um, we'll see how it goes. This is my first time ever even thinking about planting garlic. And what I'm planning on doing is just getting, we're getting garlic from the store and planting it that way just because it's a ki kind of an expensive investment and I don't want that investment to be a failure. So we'll go the cheap route and see how it goes. As you can see, my broccoli bed over here is starting to be attacked by pests. I need to replant the little individual broccolis to spread them out. And also very importantly, I need to start covering this bed up. The moths and the butterflies that lay the eggs, specifically on all of my brassicas, half of my radishes are gone, are starting to attack this bed and I am not ready to give up this bed yet. So I'm gonna be looking into covering options and uh, replanting and spreading these out this week. Here in this bed, I have my carrots that are coming up some nicely. And then I have my Swiss chard and beets. So this one is a beet. And I believe that this row is Swiss chard and it's very hard to tell them apart, but uh, eventually I will be able to do that. <laughs> Not today. And here are my beautiful, beautiful zinnias. Very, very pretty. Then here is my bed where my radishes are almost all eaten down. And I mean, look at this, just to bear studs. It's unbelievable. I come out here and basically pick those suckers off and give them to my chickens. For example, here is a few. These guys right here. All right, let's do another one here. Here's another one. There we go. And just like that, we work as a team to protect our garden, but then she gets way too comfortable and does this. I don't have anything anymore. So by this time around this area, this kind of raw area didn't really anything survive because of these ginormous zinnias. So I kind of let her roam and she doesn't touch my herbs. So it is what it is. She doesn't touch my lettuces either, which is really strange, but my lettuces are doing mighty fine. Very crunchy. I've been eating salads and I'm really enjoying them. I need to organize my herb garden over here a little bit more. It's way too much parsley, not enough dill, not enough cilantro, and my shives better come back next year because they are looking little rough then finally we come down to my newly planted bed where i planted a whole bunch of seeds filmed it and uh, showed it to you guys well let's see what's going on here so here on this side i planted some onions it's kind of hard to see but they are coming up majority of these are red onions that came up so they're coming up nicely we'll see how it ends up being here this row over here, that was white onions, and most of the seeds did not come up, which I was presuming. And here I got some radishes, and rutabagas, and kale. And then I got some more kale, but this kale got really eaten down. I don't know what's the difference the huge difference between this two different types of kales, but this one really got eaten down and this one is doing nicely as well. So it's really interesting that this row and that row are doing fantastic and this row is kind of struggling. It might be the seeds as well. Now this row right here came up really nicely with spinach and then my chickens got in here and ate up all the spinach. So I know for a fact spinach is their favorite. And then over here, I also planted a different type of spinach, but look at this. Once you have tomatoes in your garden once, you end up pulling them out of your other 
garden beds. I don't know how that happens, but it happens. So this spinach is coming up quite nicely. And then I have this kind of kale that's coming up really, really nicely. We'll finish up here at my strawberry bed. As you can see, it is luscious as ever, and I'm thinking I'm gonna need to share some of my runners with some neighbors around here because this is way too many strawberries for this space. So I'm looking forward to that. And as you can see, my strawberries are still producing and it is quite cold and they are still jamming. Oh, darn. But even in these cool conditions, I thought that I for sure would have gotten some nice strawberries. No way, Jose. I, I still got bug damage, which is, you know, kind of discouraging, but it is what it is. My chickens will enjoy this one. So for now, my garden is still growing, still producing. I absolutely love it. And um, I can't wait to bring you guys back next week because I am planning on doing a lot of harvesting next week, especially of my peppers. Hopefully I figure out by then how to preserve them because in a couple of weeks, the weather is going to be get down to freezing. And also I need to figure out the cover situation for my, for my broccoli bed over there and for my newly planted bed over here with all the greens. So if you have any comments, any suggestions, any suggestions overall, shoot them down in the comments below. I love to hear everybody's encouragement, everybody's comments, everybody's um, support that really keeps me going, especially during this kind of transition zone into the winter where not a lot of things are going to be green. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today this morning and I hope you have a great week. Go garden a little and I'll see you next time. Bye.